So I think it has to be up to 5,000. I, I may be misleading you with that amount, but if you sell like 5,000 copies, you may have agents knocking at your door. Isn't that not, wouldn't that be nice? Obviously, I haven't sold 5,000 copies. Um, but some of the things that I did, you know, I, I talked about, you know, creating awareness. That's like obvious. And target the media for free publicity because you can also advertise your book in certain venues that you think get to the audience that you want to uh, target. But there's a lot that you can get with free publicity. And if you do go to, to the literary marketplace online and you can find the radio programs and the newspapers and magazines, um, some of them will not want to talk to you, but some do because they need, informa they need information and people. They need to have material to fill their programs. So don't give up and don't think because it's my book and I'm not known and it's my, new, uh, uh, my first book, people may not want to do a review or want to talk to you. The other thing I did was through Lulu, I bought a review. And it's not buying a biased review. You send your, review, your book to the US Review of Books. And if they like it, they'll do a good review. If they don't like it, they won't. Then you don't use your review when you're marketing your book. But if it has something nice, then you could take that for your marketing. Um, I think TV should be last because they're more difficult to, to get on a TV station. But uh, regional and local newspapers, and if you know somebody in the publications or in the radio program, it's even easier. Um, you could also try to write about your book uh, in writing communities online, but many of these communities want you to participate first. They don't want you to come in and just promote your book. So you have to choose a community that you like and that you think makes sense for yourself and your, and your subject matter. And then you develop marketing materials, you know, like your book flyer, your letters, your news releases, uh, and you follow up on any contacts or mailings that you do. If you get, let's say, 50 names that you're going to target, don't send everything at once. Send 20, follow up. Send 20, follow up because you will go crazy trying to follow up with everybody because following up means calling various times and you may not get anybody. And if you do get somebody, they may want your book and then they may want to review it or they may not. So it's a process. One of the things that I was telling someone when we were talking before the, com the meeting started with the presentation was that to sell your book, you also want to go to local libraries local bookstores, find um, maybe organizations that would want to hear about you like this and then bring your book. Or you know, try to find an affiliate. If you have an independent business or, a, or a, a store, try to find someone who may not be necessarily a competitor, but who could be um, someone who be, uh, you could be affiliated with. And they may allow you to promote your book there and vice versa, you could promote something for them. So um, that sort of wraps up what I had to say today. And I do have at the end of the presentation um, some of the books that I recommend so that you can check them out yourselves. OK? Any additional questions? I just want, my name is Cheryl. Um, hi. I just wanted to mention a listserv called HARO. Are you familiar with it, H-A-R-O? It's a listserv where uh, people in the media can put out okay. requests for sources for news stories that they're doing. Okay. And it's free to, to uh, subscribe to it. And you can check it. It comes out twice a day. And you can check it and see if anybody's looking for something that you're an expert on. And then you email the the That's great. media person directly. Okay, thank you. H A H A R O. R O. Hero. Thank you, Maria, for the rich research. I've got two questions. One is, how did you determine your pricing? And the second is, um, you mentioned that you left product management, and then to 
So what a beautiful reinvention to go from that to memoir writing. How did you do that in the marketplace? Because, you, you know, in the light of being consistent with your brand. So how do you do a complete reinvention? Well, the, to answer the first question, the pricing, I've, uh, Lulu has a pricing model that you can play with. In other words, uh, depending on, on the type of book you do, they will give you a quote as to what it will cost to produce your book. So you know right then and there, you know what your cost of production is. And then, you know, if they add a percent, so the rest, then you, you, you play with the model, it's a model online. And you can do more or less, but I looked at the cost of my competitors' books and what my book was um, offering in terms of the length and that I was a new person on the block. So I decided my pricing based on those elements, you know, and I've um, didn't discount it at this point, but I felt that the price that I gave it was uh, a reasonable price. And regarding your second question, I've, I did product management, but I also always did marketing and branding. So the memoir writing was something that um, just came to me. I wasn't looking for that idea. I knew I was going to write a book. I, I'm going to sound weird now. But I didn't know what it was until one day when the idea actually came to me. And then I just started writing it. And then I put it aside. And I was still working at Citigroup. And I did it at lunchtime. I wrote what came to me. I had no clue I was going to do this or finish it or whatever. I just wrote what came. And then after I left, I said, I have the time to do this. And I'm, I am going to do it. And I did it because I had to do it, not because I was going to um, necessarily tie it to my career, but then in learning about self-publishing and learning about publishing, I said, well, you know, I sort of always taught to a certain degree um, when I was at work. So I can tie it to marketing. And, and then one person said today, a lot of people need to write articles or books to get their careers uh, to the next steps. So I thought, well, there is a tie there. And that's how I made the connection. Okay. Who did you send your book to for the book review? I mean. It, it, it was through Lulu. And they offer you, it's called the uh, US Review of Books. And they offer you the ability to do that. But you can check it. Probably you can do contact them directly. The US Review of Books online. Is it like WWUS Review of Books? <laughs>